Hey guys, SJ from IgnoreLimits.com here. Today I just wanted to come at you guys with a video review of Mike Cernovich's Fit Juice Trilogy. And so guys, this covers the following three books. So we've got, first of all we've got Juice Power. Juicing for Athletes. And Juicing for Men. Okay guys, so basically Mike Cernovich runs the website dangerandplay.com. Chances are if you read my blog or if you've seen my blog, you either are a regular reader of his blog or you've at least heard of it. Um, so in these three books, Mike talks about basically everything we need to know or you need to know about juicing. Um, I've been juicing for quite a while myself. If you've read my book, Becoming a Lion Among Sheep, it is one of the daily habits I recommend. Uh, going through my cutting phase, etc., for photo shoots and things, the last couple of months, I haven't been juicing as consistently, but it is definitely a habit that I do advocate. Okay, so what makes Juice Power and the Fit Juice Trilogy so great? Well, I've read a number of books on juicing before. These are books I mainly bought on the Amazon Kindle store, and it's very easy to tell that these people that are writing these books either don't juice or they don't really know enough about juicing to be writing a book on it. That's where this is different. So Mike's been juicing for years. He shares his experiences with juicing, we get over 70, in juice power, we get over 70 juice recipes, uh, the benefits, a lot of other common questions, guys, like how many calories are in a green juice, what's the best juicer, uh, you know, going into centrifugal juices versus masticating juices, in terms of what's better for what type of produce you're going to be uh, juicing, whether that's, you know, fruits or leafy greens, etc. So that's all, that's all run down there. So the thing I also loved about these juicing books was, Mike just doesn't give us recipes, he actually delves into detail about each recipe and you know what it's good for and what the ingredients in there are actually targeting. So you know you won't just get a list saying you know one beetroot, one apple and a handful of kale. So you'll actually get told you know why the kale is in there, what beetroot does, for example the nitric oxide benefits etc in improving blood flow, that type of thing. Uh, so, first of all, the Juice Power book, which is the, the main one here, is over 170 pages, guys, so it is comprehensive. In addition to that, you do get your two other books, so Juicing for Men, which covers uh, information and recipes primarily to, you know, boost testosterone, which is a huge problem for men today, as well as increasing, you know, blood flow, sex drive, that type of thing. Uh, I did find that to be a very useful book, so that one comes in around between 25 and 30 pages. Um, and Mike hones in on things like the pomegranate and the beetroot in there. I'm a huge fan of beetroot juice myself, so I use that powdered every single day, or at least most days as of late, like I said, I haven't been using it as consistently. But I definitely do feel in things like increased endurance in the gym, uh, better pumps, things like that from using beetroot juice. But that, yeah, that's something Mike's going to cover in detail in that book for you. Uh, and then we also just have the Juicing for Athletes. So that's, once again, around 25, 30 pages covering, you know, increasing strength, increasing endurance, increasing your recovery, along with some uh, primary principles for, you know, how you should train to maximize, maximize recovery and make the best gains. So you find those in the back of the book. As well as things like how you can juice or supercharge your juice by adding, you know, certain other supplements to the mix, which I found to be quite helpful. Uh, Mike says that these aren't, you know, aren't necessary, but, you know, if you want to add them in, then feel free. It does make a, a good difference, and once again, all the benefits, etc., are outlined there. Now, in terms of things I would change about these books, uh, one thing is the formatting here and there it can be a little bit repetitive and things like that, um, just mainly because, from my understanding, was some of these information was compiled from blog posts from Mike's other blog, which is fit-juice.com. Um, so if you guys aren't comfortable or you don't want to buy the book, then head on over to fitjuice.com and you can read all individual articles, etc. there. But I mean, for the price, it is well and truly worthwhile. Like Mike says, you know, how expensive is juicing? Obviously, buying fresh produce does cost money. Uh, unfortunately, fresh produce is more expensive than junk food, go figure. But, you know, can you, can you afford to not juice? I mean, you know, you're spending the money now to improve your health, you know, to improve your skin, to improve your performance. Or later down the track, you know, when you, after you haven't done this and you start to run into these health problems, that's when you're going to be paying, you know, for hospital bills, for medication, you know, all the other crap that comes along with bad health. So, 
it's a small investment today for, you know, longevity, quality of life, all that type of thing. So it's, juicing is an absolute no brainer to me, guys. Uh, another valid point that Mike brings up is how long does juicing take? Uh, from my experience as well, you know, I can make a juice or a few juices in 10, 15 minutes or so, clean up, get the whole thing done. But at the same time, you need to look, you know, how long are you sitting down watching TV for each day? How long are you, you know, spending browsing YouTube aimlessly? That type of thing. So juicing is quick and efficient. You can make juice in advance. Mike talks in Juice Power about a number of different tips you can use to uh, maximize you know, your efficiency, etc. juicing, which comes down to how to clean your juicer, how to store juices that you make in advance and carry them around all day, that type of thing. Uh, but getting back on track, so like I said, formatting, uh, slightly repetitive. The other thing is I wish they actually did come in hardcover versions so you could already have them in the kitchen with your juicer. Uh, as you can see, I just got these printed and I've just stapled them together for now. Um, I am going to make some full colour versions because there are a number of pictures throughout the books and get those spiral bound as well, which is going to be well worth it. Uh, so that's basically the rundown on the Fit Juice trilogy, guys. Like I said, I highly recommend it. Uh, you know, most bodybuilders, etc., they're only con concerned about calories. They don't actually worry about their uh, micronutrients, etc., which is a huge downfall. So, you know, a physique can look good, but whether or not it's healthy is another thing. And if you're just eating, you know, to hit your calorie goal all the time, you're not so concerned about what food you're eating, like the if it fits your macro style movement, then, you know, you're not going to be performing well, you're going to feel bad. Uh, you know, the, the body is a superficial part. It's, you know, how, you, how your mind operates, you know, when you're giving it those good, clean nutrients, you're getting that maximum absorption in from the juicing and you're not stressing your digestive system all the time because you're not making a breakdown food. So you're giving your body high quality nutrients in the easiest way for it to absorb. So already, you know, as broken down as we can give it to it. Uh, so that's the lowdown on the Fit Juice Trilogy, guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to check out the blog post. Link will be in the description below. If you're reading this on the blog, if you want to pick up the Fit Juice Trilogy, the link will be at the bottom of the post. So thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to check out ignorelimits.com.